Welcome back to Iowa Works. In this segment, we are going to discuss an important topic, which is apprenticeships. And that's something we haven't discussed in any of our previous shows. We're joined today by Lori Adams, who is the uh, Workforce Administrator at IWD, who's going to share with us some of the information about how to get involved in an apprenticeship. So Lori, maybe you could give us some just general information about what an apprenticeship is. Apprenticeships are an opportunity, uh, Liz, to earn while you learn. Um, it gives you an opportunity to do some on-the-job training where you're actually paid to learn a new skill in an occupation which could lead to full-time and permanent employment on the completion of your training. So how do I learn more about getting into an apprenticeship program? IWD is very proud of the fact that we have been one of the first in the nation to have a website that has a, a multitude of information on apprenticeable occupations. Um, how to get it into the, into the field. Um, Iowa has over 1,100 apprenticeable occupations, so you can look and see if a field you're interested in is, is available in Iowa. Um, we have a job bank that lists the current apprenticeable occupation opportunities that are available in Iowa. And there's also ways to contact either uh, the Department of Labor or IWD to find out more about what's available in your area. What are a couple examples of apprenticeable fields? Um, anything from plumbing to electrician, uh, pipe fitters, uh, steel workers, masons. Um, a lot of the construction trades are well known for having be, been in the apprenticeship field, but there is also um, things in, in IT and the medical field as well. And uh, is there any particular training I need to get into an apprenticeship? Just an interest in, in, being, in learning a new skill. You can have... Um, a high school education, you can have a college education, you can currently be in high school and get a certificate of apprenticeship, a high school education and an associate degree in some areas all at the same time. I was really excited when I looked at the website to see that there were even areas like chef and uh, food prep and a lot of other diverse uh, occupations that are apprenticeship trades. So if someone is interested in doing that, they should go to the website. Mm -hmm. They should go to our website at www.iowaworkforce.org slash apprenticeship. And there's all kinds of information there and links back to all this information that I mentioned earlier. I think it's really important to stress that apprenticeships are not, you don't require to join a union or all the apprenticeship occupations are not in union covered trades. That is a big part of it, but it's not a requirement. Great. So if you want additional information, you're able to go to that website, address your questions to someone, and they'll respond. Yes. If you're an employer, um, your question will go to Greer Sisson, who is the Department of Labor Apprentice Apprenticeship uh, Coordinator for the state of Iowa. If you're a job seeker, um, you can look at different areas of the state, and if you're in Des Moines, um, your question will go to staff here in Des Moines, or if you're living in Sioux City, your question will go to people in Sioux City so they are familiar with the area and the opportunities that exist. I, I like the earn while you learn uh, thing. Mm -hmm. How much will I get paid? It will be more than a minimum wage, certainly. It will be less than the journeymen who are doing that trade, but it'll be certainly a, a, an attractive wage, probably anywhere from 12 to $15 an hour to start. Wow. You'll also, in addition to the on-the-job piece of it, you'll be receiving classroom instruction um, to help you at, at the end of your training. Um, if there is an exam required to get your license or your journeyman level accreditation, um, that will follow up with that. So you have a combination of hands-on training and classroom training. And how long does an apprenticeship last? It, can, it varies by occupation. So long as... I'd say, you know, depending on the field, I mean, obviously, I think we'd all like to see an apprenticeship and an electrician get the benefit as much training as possible. Um, so it could probably be anywhere from a year to 18 months for starters. Could be less depending on the field. Right, right. One of the things that I thought was kind of surprising about apprenticeships was that in Iowa, there are uh, quite a few um, of the apprenticeship occupations are dominated by men. Um, we've been really trying to raise awareness among women and minorities in Iowa about the um, great benefits of doing an apprenticeship. Can you talk a little bit about that? Sure, and that's a great point, Liz. In Iowa, it is true that apprenticeships have often been dominated by men. Um, a lot of the jobs have been seen to be 
uh, construction, um, related to electrical, apprenticeships, plumbing, jobs that have seen as been hard work, heavy lifting, outdoors, sometimes under less than ideal conditions. But yet they offer a wonderful opportunity for women to earn a great wage, particularly those women who are possibly on public assistance. It, it can be a um, an opportunity for them to escape that cycle of poverty and be able to support their family. So um, it, it's certainly something that all women should consider and look at and, and not consider that it is just for men. Well, and a lot of these occupations are not just construction and apprenticeship. That's correct. I mean, you see in the health arena mm -hmm. and others, there are apprenticeship trades yeah, also. IT, a lot of inside mm -hmm. um, clerical type jobs that have good wages that are administrative assistant level. So it certainly is not um, uh, for men only. Right. Opportunity. So if I go to the website, but I really want to talk to a real person, how do I get in touch with someone? When you go to the website and decide which area of the state you're interested in learning more about, just make sure and tell that person the per in your note that you would like to have someone call you and provide your phone number. Um, all of our managers have been directed to pr um, respond to those um, as quickly as possible on receipt, and they will call you and discuss what your personal situation and needs are. Fantastic. Yes. That's all the time we have for this particular segment. Lori, thank you very much, thank and we'll be back me. in a minute.